So today's tip is for parents, and it's for parents with very young juniors, I'm talking maybe age six and under, that are getting interested in golf, have either just started or thinking about it, and it's what you can do to help out their golf swing. Now, for this, you don't even need a golf club. If you've seen our under six lessons, the uh, beginner sessions for the young juniors, uh, there's some golf in there, there's some golf clubs in there, but there's a lot of tennis rackets, baseball bats, rugby balls, footballs, uh, balance objects, all sorts of things. And they're not really learning how to hit a golf ball yet, they're learning how to move their body the correct way to eventually hit a golf ball well. So those that are just started, we don't really care about um, where the ball goes, we just care about can they hit it forward in the air, it would be great, and as far as they can, the most important thing, how far can they hit the ball? While we're on the subject of distance, um, if I hear any parents on the range say swing it slower, most importantly, if they say swing it slower, head down, head still, feet still, any of these phrases that come out, um, I'll give you a warning and then you're banned from the range or commenting. Um, very serious about that. Let the kids swing it as fast as they can. If their feet move all over the place, it doesn't matter. As long as they've got their hands roughly in the right place, on the right end of the club will do. If their club's somewhere behind the ball, that will do for now when they're just starting. Let them swing it as fast as they can. Let them experiment and see what they can do. But what you can do to help, for the young ones, zero technical information. We won't be doing that either, um, or very, very, very rarely. It'd be disguised in movement skills. And the biggest movement skill you can do as parents to really help us out and get your player or your junior developing their golf movements is throwing. Not enough young juniors can throw well. Um, I think a lot of the time kids are given a golf club too early before they can even throw a ball. And if they can't throw a ball correctly, they're going to struggle to hit a ball with a stick that's another two or three foot long. So must be able to throw first, must be able to move their body correctly first. Um, we see too much of sort of this right foot, right hand and releasing the ball at the wrong time, um, getting mixed up with underarm and overarm, um, not being able to throw in the opposite hand, which they should be at least, you know, at, let go of the ball at the right time in the opposite hand. Because golf's very one-sided, so doing it both directions is really going to help turning both ways. So throwing the ball first, and not just a ball, it could be a frisbee, rugby ball, um, football, anything they can get used to moving their body and their arms in a decent sequence. And these could be underarm throws where you're taking the club of the arm from here, low, throwing it high, and we use the term hugging yourself a lot, so you can give yourself a hug on the shoulder and releasing it forwards rather than straight up into the roof of the range um, or somewhere else. Overarm throws, they're trying to throw it as high as they can, so can they learn to tilt their body back and throw the ball up in the air as high as they can? Low throws, where you're bouncing it under things, so can they get the arm going from high to low and bouncing it when they throw, looking a bit like a golf swing there, and do it in both directions. So get the kids throwing first before you worry about grip, setup, alignment, um, hinging, anything like that. They don't need to know it. Can they throw a ball, number one? If they can and they're doing this well, they've got a chance, and then we can give them a golf club and see if they can strike a golf ball. So get them thrown at home, thrown and catching, simplest thing to do. Um, you can do it with any ball, any object, um, and that's really going to help their golf. So any questions on that, feel free to get in touch, but I hope that helps, and I hope that's something you can do at home to help them with their golf. We'll see you guys soon.